Welcome back guys to another stay at home video. In this episode, I'm gonna do a little painting. So let me show you what's going on today. I have my gas door cover, which came off another car. That's why it's blue. I tried painting it silver with some glitter. It didn't come out too great. So I sanded it down and we're gonna go paint that along with my mirrors. In the last video you saw that I detailed the car and uh, I didn't do the mirrors because the paint was already, the clear coat was already gone and the paint was starting to fade and chip so. So what I did was went ahead and sanded down the gas cap and the two mirrors yesterday. Um, the weather was kind of funky so I wasn't really, I was going to paint but it was windy and cold so I skipped that. Today it's a little bit better but it is a little drizzly depending on the clouds. It looks like I have a quick break in the, the mist or the rain or the drizzle, so let's go ahead and paint these suckers and uh, let's see how it turns out. Yeah, we got the two mirrors already sanded down, cleaned them up with ac acetone to get off any of the sanding residue and whatnot, grease, and yeah, these three pieces are ready to get painted. I found that, that the Duplicolor Perfect Match uh, rattle cans seem to match the silver pretty well, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that um, along with some Rust-Oleum primer and some Rust-Oleum clear coat. So we're gonna go and hit these with primer first to let them dry and then paint them up and uh, we'll see how it comes up. All right, so I'm done with the primer step. Um, I moved off the deck because the overspray was getting onto the deck and I uh, don't want to clean that up later. So yeah, right here on the, on the bricks on the ground and we got them all primed up. And I, I put about two coats on there, try to get it from every angle, flip that around, get it to work. That's looking all right. Um, my rig for mounting this was a 2x4 and some zip ties mounted by the, you know, the power mirror harness. Seems to work out alright. It doesn't seem to put too much stress on the actual cord, so it works for me. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for a little bit before I put, put on the first coat of silver, so we'll be back in about 15-20 minutes. So I did two coats. Um, the way the weather is today, it'll let me kind of just do the second coat after I was done with the first couple pieces. Like it's really tacky and it's drying really fast. So that's cool. Um, let me show you the progress. This is kind of see some eggshell, but it's starting to get glossy, which is kind of cool. These ones as well. And the trick for me for spray painting is first I put on a light coat, it's kind of splotchy, whatever. That way that gets the paint to stick. And then after that, I kind of just keep putting on layers until it gets nice and glossy and like the, the roughness starts to go away and it kind of brings out a gloss to the paint. Um, don't stay on one spot for too long, again you don't want runs and especially with these mirrors, um, they're curved, I don't want any drips because it's going to be a pain in the butt to sand off. So. Yeah, I'm going to put on one more coat and then let it cure for 30 minutes and then we will put on the clear. So we let the paint dry for about 30 minutes and now I'm going to go ahead and apply the clear coat. I read the instructions on the clear coat and it said wait a few minutes between coats. So as I do one piece, I'm going to go ahead and that one will dry as it work on the other ones and then kind of work back and forth and try to put on a nice, um, put on light coats, but at the end, try to get a really glossy shine out of it. That's how I know uh, I have a nice layer, nice thick layer of clear coat on the parts. So let's go ahead and do that. All 
All right, guys, it's been a couple hours. I went ahead and let the paint dry. Alcee cheated a little bit, used the heat gun to uh, help the paint you know, dry a little bit faster. So what I did was went ahead and reinstalled one of the mirrors and the gas tank cap, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. So super stoked that I masked off the black rubber molding so that way there's no overspray on it. it looks good. Um, color matches, but again, the shine isn't the same. Um, but I gotta wait a week before I can um, cut and buff them and make them shiny, just like the paint. I mean, it has a shine to it, but it doesn't have the depth like the OEM paint does. So. Yeah. Overspray on the mirror, so that's good. The gas tank, gas tank cap the same way. Um, the paint doesn't look too even, I don't know why. But uh, again, I just need to cut the eggshell finish of it and it, it should look blend in pretty well with the rest of the car. So I got one more side to do and that's the driver's side. Um, it's simple as just reinstalling it and putting the door card back on and uh, yeah. Well that's it for today guys. I just wanted to show you how well the Dupacolor Perfect Match paint works. At least on this silver it came out decent and um, you know I'm happy with the results um, for just rattle can clear. You know it works out pretty well so uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.